kind of what you'll see like walking around. You know, usually when you step out of your apartment in Benin. Um, Benin's more constructed than Togo. Um, I just remember, you know, living in Togo for essentially a year and then going to Benin. And I was like, whoa, like, this place is like way more developed. Um, a lot more cobblestone roads um, and, and paved. I was pretty, I think in Togo, there's like one paved road. <laughs> um, but there's a lot more roads and stuff and kind of more out of the day to day when you walk out of the apartment. Um, most people that you see kind of have their boutiques or their little shops. Um, from there, they can sell anything from, you know, Nigerian products from shampoo to, I don't know, cup of noodles type stuff. Um, so kind of on the day to day, uh, you know, there's lots of taxi drivers in the cars, lots of taxi moto drivers on the motorcycle. Um, people walking around with, um, you know, giant pizza platter kind of things on their head, you know, selling bread or, um, fish, um, just walking around yelling what they're selling. So lots of noise, lots and lots of noise. Yeah. So um, you get like lots of little bread stations and you kind of figure out, you know, where everyone's selling stuff. So then you're like, Oh, I want bread this morning. So then you go out there and then they got all their bread and, um, you just kind of pick like which one you want. Um, usually at the beginning of the month when you, when you kind of get your money, um, you can plan with your companion and those in the apartment and other missionaries to like kind of meet at the market. Um, the market's pretty, pretty crazy. You know, you're, you're a white guy walking around and it's not uncommon to be walking on a road with like 300 natives, right? So they're all black and you're the only white guy. And on top of being the only white guy, um, you're wearing your shirt and tie. So they really see you as like, you know, this guy's like made of money. <laughs> um, so, um, for that, they kind of see that as, you know, you have a lot of money. I can probably get some money out of this guy. So you got to be really prepared to learn how to barter and when to kind of tell people off. Um, you know, lots of times getting like a, a taxi, you know, they come up and you're like, Hey, like I want, we want to go to the market. You know, we're two companionships so or four. And then he'd be like, never look at you in the eye, never eye contact, but he'd be like, yo, like, you know, five dollars. And then you're just like, like, what? Like, it sounds like so little, but like, you know, you, you have a budget and if, if you pay like what they're asking, you'll run out of money so fast. So you gotta, you gotta be smart with your money. Um, so you just kind like, no, like, no, that's, and then you'll say your price, which is lower than, um, you know what you can get, but nothing too insulting. Right. Uh, and sometimes they'll take it. They'll be like, yo, like, no, no. And then they'll, sometimes they'll just drive off and you're like, whatever, like we'll wait for someone else. Sometimes they'll be like, no, like, yeah, and they'll just go slightly under what they said, like 450. And you're just like, no, did you not hear what I said? Like I said this. And they're just like, oh, fine. Like, like four. And you're like, no. And then they're just like, nope, four is my final offer. Four is final. And I was like, fine, you can go. And then you kind of got to do the bluff. So then they can, sometimes they're like, okay. And sometimes it leaves. And sometimes they're like, oh, fine, get in, you know, for a dollar fifty. So, um, it's like that all the day, all day. Um, so transportation is always like that. Um, so you, you get good at <laughs> bargaining. You have to, otherwise you'll run out of money. <laughs> uh, so going to the market's the same way. You know, we, we went to the market and we can buy, you know, just, um, clothes. Cause they'll, you know, all the, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I feel like, you know, a lot of clothes that are donated kind of just get sold in Africa. Um, could be wrong, but if, you know, there's a lot of people selling clothes, um, from clothes that have been donated and you're like, I want this shirt. And that was way overpriced. And you're just like, no, you have to, you have to bargain it. Honestly, in, in Benin, I, or actually in my mission, I, I never once felt unsafe. Not once. Um, usually for the most part, people either love you or, you know, hate you because you're American. It's just how it is. Like, oh, you're American. They always try to speak English with you. Um, I appreciated it at the beginning, <laughs> you know, when I couldn't speak French, but 
at one point I'm like, okay, I'm tired of like saying the same thing over and over to these people. They're saying, how are you? Like, I'm, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. And that's it. That's their, that's their English <laughs> vocabulary. So you're just kind of like, all right. So uh, at one point in my mission, you know, when I was definitely comfortable with the language, as soon as I stepped out the door, I wouldn't speak any English. Um, of course, like my companions, sometimes they would want to learn English. So as much effort as they, they put in, you know, I'd, I'd help them. It's not like I'd go out of my way to like, hey, you have to learn English. But if they're working on learning English, like I'll definitely, you know, work with them. Oh, which is uh, which I thought was awesome because you know my French wasn't perfect, so it's kind of you know um, scratching each other's back kind of thing. But yeah, I never felt once felt unsafe just around. And uh, one thing you got to be good at, make sure you're good at before, because you'll definitely learn it quick. There is learning to look both ways across in the street, because <laughs> there will be people going the opposite direction on the side of the road, you know, just to kind of cut through this lane instead of having to make a huge U-turn. They'll, they'll go off in, into like oncoming traffic kind of thing. So, you, you know, traffic could be going this way and you're looking and then you step out and then someone's coming this way. So you gotta, okay, we're good. <laughs> and then go. 